Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new Let's Play, uh, Sherlock Holmes and the Hound of the Baskervilles. Um, so, Sherlock Holmes is a trademark of Frogwares. I think Arthur Conan Doyle, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle will probably disagree with that. Um, this, I think, is a, is a, I was going to say point-and-click adventure, I don't think it is. I think it's a hidden object game. Um, this actually wasn't on the poll for my level 4 patrons, but I don't have any of those, so... Um, I got to try out some... I tried one of the games, and that didn't work. I tried another game, and that didn't work. And they just gave up and was like, oh, let's just play something else. Let's play another Sherlock Holmes game. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, please use the difficulty. Tutorial option. Help, hints. I'm gonna take... Oh, that's mean. I wish... It, it's one of the things I like about Pathfinder Kingmaker, is the fact you can have variable difficulty. Because I like the idea of having hard puzzles, but I also kind of like the idea of having hints and a tutorial. Oh, uh, no, easy. I think I'm going to need the tutorial. No, low. Let's do hard. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with hard. Hundred and sixty five years later. Two two one B Baker Street. Seems that we have a visitor, Holmes. Indeed. Come in. Hello, Sir Henry Baskerville. Did you have a good trip? But how do you know who I am? I had not announced my visit. By looking at your dress, it is totally unsuited to our wet English weather. This allowed me to deduce that you came here in a hurry and carrying the bare minimum in your luggage. Then there is a blue ink stain on your thumb, the same blue ink used by the passenger service at Waterloo Station to print their tickets. Your ticket has stained your thumb because of the rain. Also, my attention was attracted to your cufflinks with the initials HB, but still I had not yet made the connection with the famous Baskerville family. It is by remembering a Times article that I deduced your identity. It was telling of the odd death of Charles Baskerville and the likely return of his nephew and only heir, Henry. Brilliant. Your reputation is well-deserved, Mr. Holmes. But let me explain the purpose of my visit. I am... You do not believe in legends, and you would like to clear the circumstances of your uncle's death. You need a factual, logical, and rational explanation of what some call the Curse of the Baskervilles. And who else, in all modesty, but Sherlock Holmes and his faithful friend Dr. Watson would be able to solve such a mystery? Watson, my friend, pack your bags. We're leaving for Baskerville Hall. Wait, we're leaving? It's about the curse of the Baskervilles, Henry. Its origin dates back to my ancestor, Hugo Baskerville. It is said he was a vile person who earned the wrath of the devil. After his death, all our ancestors seemed to come to bad ends at Baskerville Hall. At the scene of each death, there were always dog or wolf tracks, but gigantic. Thus, over the centuries, a legend was built, that of a creature from hell, the Hound of the Baskervilles. My uncle was sure that it was a reality. He was convinced that the beast would take him sooner or later, as it took all those our lineage. With his last letter, he sent me this medallion. According to Charles, it was needed to break the curse of the Baskervilles, but he did not know how to use it. Do you believe in this legend, Mr. Holmes? We'll have to exhaust all other hypotheses before falling back on that one. Okay, this... Baskerville Hall in sight. This feels very... This is very different to the book already. So, in the book... Holmes, Doctor, welcome to Baskerville Hall. The servants are not here to welcome us, I fear. They were severely affected by the death of my uncle and have since retired. Oh, I need to actually see that corner. Next. The family portraits gallery, I assume. But why such expressions on their faces? Right, okay. I should probably actually say. So, in the book... In the book, Holmes doesn't go with Watson to Baskerville Hall. And there's a whole section in London as well. Um, I think we sound like my favourite line with... Um, so it's actually the doctor... Um, I think the doctor of the area who comes um, to Holmes and Watson. And he says... To, he's describing what happened at... Um, these pictures oh, have not always been so disturbing. No, I was talking. According to my uncle, the changes in the paintings occurred after the violent death of the portrayed Baskerville. It appears to be one of the effects of the curse. Okay, so this is just going to advance without me. Um, so, um, it's like, and he's, oh, there were footprints around the body. It's like, a man or a woman's? Mr. Holmes, they were the footprints 
of a gigantic hound. Which I love as a line. Um, Have you noticed? The family coats of arms under the pictures are missing. Okay, we need to find those, I assume. Indeed, it is an interesting point to begin our investigation. Where can these coats of arms be? And why did they disappear? Let's try to find them. I cannot stay here any longer. The sight of those ghastly faces is unbearable. Okay. So we can oh wait, we can move around. Roger's door lock piece. Oh, is that this? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to work out. One piece fell out, it should be somewhere near. Let's look for it carefully. All is found. Okay, so I have to. Oh, okay. No, you don't live. Okay, you don't live there then. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have to work out where all of these go. So you're there. So we've got all of those done. And then that's there. There we go. Really great work, my friend. You solved it. You played this puzzle in less than one minute. Did you have time to breathe? You really deserve this. Solve one puzzle in less than a minute. Okay, so we could go in... Okay. Sir Roger Baskerville is certainly one of the most famous hunters in all of Great Britain. Good grief. Indeed, Dr. Watson, my grandfather spent a large part of his life traveling the colonies of the Empire to stalk the largest predators in the world. Let us try to learn more about the tragic death of Sir Roger Baskerville. Such a distinguished hunter could not possibly have been killed by a simple dog. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he's not expecting it, and if he's old, and if he's thinking it's a curse, um, in, in the book, he dies of fear. He's not killed by the dog, by the hound. Hello. This crystal jewel has the shape of an eye. It seems to vibrate very slightly. Book of the Baskervilles. Crossbow piece. A knife. Okay, so is this what it means by... Okay. This, oh, this is a map. So these are the areas we could go to. Uh, there are no tasks to complete at the, at the location, but if there's an exclamation mark, there's still stuff to do. Okay. The grate. Leave it behind the grid, but it's too rusted to be moved. So we need to do something. Oh, three spots left to oil. So we need to find oil. Some paper. I don't know if that's telling me there's nothing else to pick up. No. Oh, yeah, no, of course there's still going to be stuff to do because we need to get the oil for that. Okay. Um, wolf's head. Missing two eyes. I can put one in. How oh, interesting. The crystal eye seems to react with something. It's glowing. So we need to find... Oh, you're blinking. That's blinking! Good grief. Right. Oh, coat of arms piece. So that's a piece of a coat of arms. Some water. We don't want water, we want oil. Wow, yeah, these are all quite dark and dreary, aren't they? Louisa, James, Lily, Edward, Elizabeth. Daughter of Charles, she died 15 years before her father. The poor man never recovered from the loss. Charles, my uncle, it's not easy to look at this portrait altered so. Okay, so that. Oh, that was the one who died, was it? I'm confused. I've already lost track of who, 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 whatever. Hugo Baskerville. Uh, he's very, there's supposed to sort of cousin, he doesn't look very friendly, but his portrait hasn't been altered. So they, that's locked. There's a dark place under there. Back to the portrait gallery. Too dark to see anything, so we need some kind of light. Okay, that's locked. Wolf said it's stirring. I feel I have the feeling it watches us. So that's a lock. There's a lock. So James's room. Why has he protected it? It's access with its mechanism. If one day I had to put an end to my business, can I could always become a locksmith? So I need four things for that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's now hinting me to go to Roger's room. Oh no, it's just saying I can go there. I assume is what that the arrow is. This is just those are the options, right? We're missing five elements, which we can't do anything with because we haven't got anything for that. That's Luisa's door. 
If we want to go in, we'll need to remove the planks. Um. Okay, so this isn't... I think I have played, like, hidden object games before, but normally it's just, like, here is a sequence of things. And... Ooh, tiger's head. Missing fangs. Trophy piece, how strange. So normally it's like you have a section and then it's timed, whereas this just seems to be one, a load of sense. Oh, curtain. Which only turns the light into the dark corners of the room. Yes, open them. Oh, you use the curtain ribbon. Oh, hello. Okay, so that's if I want to use a hint. Okay, that's broken. Oh, no, I actually, no, I actually need to find things, do I? Okay, I don't know if this is timed. Gloves. Handprint. We're just picking up a handprint. Uh, right. Uh, maybe equip it. Okay, there's a dog somewhere, apparently. Uh, hunting trap, whip, lantern, horn. That's a horn, isn't it? No, that's Euler. That's a pipe. It's a pipe. Oh, I have to pick the right things. Right, okay. Oh, dog. Bell. Oh, whip. Right. Okay, now this is what I was expecting from... <laughs> this is what I was expecting from a... Um, uh, from a hidden object game. Bell, cage, horn, horseshoe, lantern, rope, hunting trap. Hunting trap? No, that's a cage. Of course it is. Oh, horseshoe. Bell, horn, lantern. I mean, I've... Yeah, they're just going to be staring right in the face. Staring me right in the face. Um, rope, hunting trap. Oh, lantern. That's right there. Uh, there's a trap. Rope, horn, and bell. That's a chain. Oh. Rope. Okay, bell and horn. That's bone. Yeah, this is more what I was expecting, although I was referring the other bits. Oh, there's a horn. And so I just need to find a bell. Oh, is that is that a bell? Apparently, you found an Euler. Right, good. You played your HO with less than ten wrong clicks. Hidden object. You're precise and methodical. Holmes would love that. You really deserve this. Right, now we can use the Euler, and that lets us switch the lever. We should find a way to. We should find water to put out the fire, and now we can. Hidden passage indeed, let's explore quickly. No, I want the cult. Thank you. Through the secret a unicorn, a dragon, a werewolf? I can't believe my eyes. No. Don't let appearances fool you, Henry. Dr. Watson is right. It is unlikely that these fantastic animals ever existed. It is, rather, a matter of a remarkable job of taxidermy. I'm just worried about the the the, the creatures that look alive, because that that involves saying humans were used for those. Can't move the fingers, okay. Any experienced sex can fix a rhinoceros horn onto a horse skull. Um, Space me why someone would padlock the mouth of this dot 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 iguana. Right, well. Code of arms beast hung. What if we use one of Roger's crossbows to unhook this beast? So I need to find. Okay. Oh, there's one there, though. Um, so we just need to find a crossbow then. We need to open his arms. It's missing its other horn. Have we found one? No. But we haven't got a crossbow. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's a horn. Right, okay. Right, so we can... And that opens that up. Got both crystallized... Did you, do you want to visit Roger Baskell's room immediately to learn what secret holds? All is found. 
Both eyes have been placed. You also feel that strange sensation, gentlemen, as if something has just changed in the room. What happened? Where are we? I believe the correct question is rather when. Oh my goodness, are have we? we gone through time? What do you mean, Hawks? Look at these traces of struggle. Look at the shape of the room, its decoration. Everything appears as if Sir Roger was just killed. Smell the air. The odors of gunpowder and blood are still fresh. <laughs> like, first Sherlock Holmes' first, first impression, first theory about, hypothesis about this whole thing. We've traveled in time. You don't really think that we went back in time, do you? Normally, I would reply no and laugh at your naivety. But for now, I'd rather not say anything. I do not know how or why, but it seems that we have stepped back to a few minutes <laughs> after the death of Sir Roger. Okay, this is this is there weird. Is always an explanation. Be patient. Second floor key, so we've got something. A newspaper. Look at this copy of the Times. It's almost 90 years old. Either it is perfectly kept, or we are really at the beginning of the century. Oh, crossbow. We do need that. Might have been broken during the fight, but we... But I need the crossbow. Now we need an arrow. Something as far as it's very strong requires strength to break it. Okay, we'll have a look at that. Right. We'll have a look at that another time. No. Oh, so I can just jump backwards and forwards. Okay. Okay, okay. I need to do this again. So that... Uh, right. Did I see horn again? No. Horse! Hun hunting horn. We need two of those. Apparently, it's a bottle of something. Bottle. Um. Footprint? No, we don't need a foot. Oh, fork. Pipe. Smoking pipe. Oh, playing card. Mop. Do we need a mop? No, I don't think so. It was cigar. Pocket watch. Sword. Another hunting horn. There's a hat. No. Lamp. That's not really not helpful. All of these are lamps, technically. Um, it's a random equation. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. That's probably the rag. Snifter. That's a particular oh, slingshot. So catapults there. Oh, there's an arrow. Lamp, shoe, and snifter. Oh, there's that snifter. Lamp and shoe. Oh, there's a shoe. Just need to find a lamp. I mean, that's not a lamp. No. Like, what are you counting as a lamp? No. They're light sources and they're separate from everything else and you can carry it. Right, where, where is it? Right, there's a feather. Rose. Some matches. Oh, oh it's hiding there. There we go. Found a golden arrow. 